Meghan and Harry are in danger of bankruptcy as they helplessly try to smear the royal family. Now that the Oprah Winfrey interview and the Netflix series have officially aired, they've been released and King Charles Karen is done. Things are going to get a lot tougher for Prince, Harry and Meg. And the reason is that Prince William is becoming more and more powerful within Prince Harry, let's be honest here from the company you hate. A lot. It started the moment you left your father's coronation. All other members of the royal family were driven away in official cars. You had to find your own way to the airport to expect the car to be just the start of the simple move. In all likelihood, there will be another memoir, a publication, and possibly another documentary series as well. And it's because there's no sign that Meghan and Harry's list of grievances is over or that they won't be making new allegations against the company that they'll continue with this pity party and Harry regarding the coronation of your older brother William doesn't hold your breath on it. The late Prince Philip and the late Queen were a real team. Prince Philip understood that his responsibility was to work with and support the late Queen and that his service was to the monarchy. The late Queen Elizabeth and her beloved husband Prince Philip spent their final years hearing all the delights and delusions that came from Harry and my friends are inexcusable for what they said was only an absolute lie and some things they said in such a bad way that the deceased royal family must have been absolutely devastated after the death of his beloved. Grandmother Elizabeth, the second Prince William officially became the next in line to the throne and fully embraced his destiny. William and Catherine, the Prince and Princess of Wales took on much larger roles. They are the juvenile phase of the future of the monarchy. The Prince and Princess of Wales lead very dedicated lives. They are so committed to duty and service and the two of them never complain, instead, they're simply following in the footsteps of the beloved late Queen Elizabeth. His motto was never complain, never explain. And it seems to be them too. There's such a stark difference in how the Prince and Princess of Wales operate compared to Prince Harry and his terrible wife of Meghan Markle. They just live this very self-centered lifestyle and live in Montecito, they couldn't even pirate it in the UK. The Prince and Princess of Wales are not focused on themselves. Instead, they focus on causes that are important to them. Causes that have real meaning and purpose. They don't want to be big seal, so they can help people, Meghan and Harry can't blame anyone else for the situation they are in right now. They did all this themselves too, and now they can wallow in this mess. They did as usual. It's wonderful to see Prince William really stepping up and asserting himself. She is very regal in her demeanor and is definitely an asset for emergencies, just hope I won't be called to meet my maker before William becomes king. I would love to see her coronation and no matter how a person felt for the royal family before, after the public destruction they suffered at the hands of Harry and Meghan. We can only be grateful that the current members of the family are in place of Harry the Spa. We can only feel gratitude for the current royals. See what could have happened if Harry had been born, on the bright side, Meghan and Harry really drew attention to the more human side and how beautiful they are on the inside. Worse. Meghan and Harry are trying to shine the royal family. Meghan and Harry just can't pull off their mission to make them look bad, and despite the fury it sparks and the two of them, the royals look even more stylish. They look more refined. They look more amazing to watch, and then Meghan and Harry keep digging that hole even deeper. It's funny how they go to such lengths to try to slander Harry's family, but it seems like all they can really do is make the good work of the royal family better. The senior royals are everything Meghan and Harry want to be, but never will be. They failed in everything they tried. The contrast between real and fake is quite obvious and maybe some people see them as celebrities and Hollywood, but even in the fictional world of massive fake egos, they haven't accomplished anything of significance. Meghan can buy all the little prizes she wants. It doesn't matter if I'm impressed by one or the other. True royalty, on the other hand, is having a good time. I mean the couple of Wales, the Edinburgh and the King and Queen, they are created by huge crowds. Wherever they go. Receive bouquets, receive adoration. They get so much respect and you know what? They don't even have to buy fake prices, 
They achieve all of this through a life well lived and a commitment to service and an attempt to destroy all that is good. Megan and Harry have basically made themselves even more useless than they already were and I just have to brag a bit about Catherine. I couldn't help but notice that she's been wearing a lot of her gorgeous wardrobe lately for most of the UK designers. Megan, on the other hand, would never be caught dead, wearing the same dress twice and mostly only wearing what she can get for free or at a big discount. And Catherine doesn't wear much jewelry for her engagements and appearances, while Megan won't leave home without her children, most of whom belong to Harry's. They are slowly dividing their children into family engagements like this event with the local scouts where they all helped out and had a blast. It seems that William and Catherine are really enjoying their engagement and showing off their kids. Royal duties are something exciting, it's not just a job or an obligation, and then there's the biggest and most obvious difference of all. Where in the world are they artificial and invisible, that is, if they really exist and if they exist? Who gave birth to them? That's the question of the day, and unfortunately, Jerry Springer is no longer here to answer who's the father. I just hope and pray that the Whale family can continue to thrive as they have without the evil Harkles trying to drag them into the mess they made of their ridiculous attempts to be important and relevant. And for Harry when it seems his mother has died, Meghan Markle is the worst thing that has ever happened to him, on the contrary, she seems to exploit her feminine wiles and use superficial charm to disguise a truly disturbed personality. And one thing a lot of people don't realize is that Harry and Meghan didn't actually start this feud. It was actually William and Catherine because they were so horrified. From the way Meghan treated their shared staff, they decided to get rid of them. Now, before Meghan arrived, Harry had a wonderful relationship with his family and especially his older brother. Now, Harry's reputation in the UK is that of being nice enough, but not very smart, well, it's the unintelligent part that seems to have dominated Harry's behavior for the past few years. Meghan has always had her own truth, her own version of events and then Harry just lacks the courage and wit to see things any other way. So yes, Meghan helped him a lot. It helped convince him that it's first class. He lived a life of privilege and was protected from the outside world pretty much forever, then arrived in Mega Markel with a bunch of skeletons in his closet, had never met anyone like her before. It was despicable. It was sneaky, but Harry couldn't see her using it and really believe she liked it. It made him look like a jerk, it made him look so immature and in front of the cameras too. He turned this once happy boy into a miserable mess and that's what we see today, but now, finally, with the help of his former comrades who put him back on his feet, he is now beginning to understand all he knows about being ridiculed. And that's why Harry will come back to his family with his tail firmly wedged between his legs. Apparently the courthouse attorneys have been very busy lately. Apparently the only thing left to complete this divorce is to figure out how much to pay and we know it will be too much but if in the end she will get rid of it for good.